Hey guys, uh, welcome to another DIY your way to save water or conserve water because water is precious. This is my DIY toilet bowl sink as you can see from the previous video, links in the description below on how to conserve more water by using the fresh water that resupply the toilet bowl tank to wash your hands before you go back into the toilet bowl tank to replenish. Uh, as I uh, do a little bit of research online and found out that the, the water supply is replenished up to a certain water level. So why not uh, displace the water inside the toilet bowl tank in order to save more water per flush? Okay, step number one is to find plastic bottles with wide opening at the top. Uh, this is the reason why is because I want to put some stones, uh, which is uh, pretty large, uh, into the plastic bottle. The reason why I choose uh, the stones is because I want to uh, sink the bottle in the bottom of the the toilet bowl in order to displace the water uh, to reduce down every flush uh, the amount of water being used for each flush um, i actually gotten all these stones from the little fish shop in the local singapore you can buy from any fish shop if you can find them uh, find the small stones uh, it, that can fit into the opening of this plastic bottle um, Obviously, I use a plastic bag to, uh, you know, uh, avoid contact of the the stone with the water, uh, so that you'll not you'll be cleaner that way. I mean, this is my own preference. It's up to you. It's optional. You can actually put a stone directly into the plastic bottle. It's really up to you. The final final step is to put some water into the plastic bottle together with the stones, and uh, make sure it sinks down to the bottom of the toilet bowl tank. Uh, the reason is to displace the water so that the water level will rise a little bit, uh, in in order to stop the water from coming into the uh, toilet bowl tank, uh, when the water rises, uh, after you flush, so that every flush you actually save two bottles worth of water, uh, per flush. Uh, that said, uh, be reminded that if you feel that there is not enough water for every flush maybe you can put only one one uh, plastic bottle instead of two or adjust accordingly so that you have enough water to flush the toilet bowl otherwise you'll be flushing two times instead of once and you'll still waste water that way uh Okay, so after that, you should be able to save some water every single flush and you will find a considerable amount of water safe uh, at the end of the month or end of the year. Well, basically that's it for this video and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy, remember to give me a like and share to your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you very much and have a nice day.